What's going on you guys, it's Brobson here, and today's video is going to be featuring a lot more of the daily challenges that I've done in the past few days. I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't been online really at all this weekend. I had a big weekend drinking wise, or I guess socially, because I didn't have any classes this Friday. My one Friday class got cancelled, so I decided with a few friends of mine on campus to go ahead and go out on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, and as a result of heavy drinking three days in a row, I pretty much just slept through the day and then went out at night and didn't get home till like three or four. So I've barely been online, maybe 20 to 30 minutes each day, and basically the only thing that I have been doing are my daily challenges, so I figured I would go ahead and compile those in a video at the end of the weekend today and then I'll get back into the daily actual progress uploads starting tomorrow when I kind of have to go back to reality of class and not being drunk all day <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, the first the first daily that you're seeing here is a construction daily all I had to do was make four crude wooden chairs which is extremely easy to do but uh, if you're me and you lack the ability to do basic tasks especially at low levels then you'll see how difficult this talent this uh, seemingly easy task can actually be First off, I didn't know that you needed nails, so I bought a house in Taverly for 1,000 GP. Then I uh, went to the sawmill, I cut down some logs and turned them into planks. Went straight into my player-owned house and found out that I needed nails to make crude wooden chairs. So then I went into the Alcarid mine and started mining some iron. And then I went and smelted it into like four or five iron bars, which then I went to an anvil and realized that I didn't have the smithing level required to make iron nails. So then I had to go all the way back to the Varrock mine, mine some copper and tin, go back to the furnace in Alcarid, go ahead and make myself some bronze bars, go back to the uh, the Varrock anvil and make myself some stuff there and turn them into actual nails. I think I made 60 bronze nails. And then I had to go all the way back to my house in Taverly to go ahead and make myself the crude wooden chairs to turn them in for the construction XP and completion of the daily challenge. This challenge probably should have taken like five or six minutes if I just knew what I needed right away. I could have done everything on the way to the sawmill and been done with it. But instead, I completely failed and it took me like 45 minutes to make four crude wooden chairs. So that was a total failure on my part. But the good news was when I finally got all the supplies necessary and I made all of the crude wooden chairs, I got, I think, five construction levels on the way to completion of the challenge. Just making the chairs themselves gave me a, a lot of levels. And then when I turned in the challenge for additional XP, I got a lot more. And I think I got myself all the way to level 11 construction. So that was pretty epic as a daily challenge just to get a bunch of construction XP that way. It was like, I think, seven or eight total levels just from that completion of that challenge. And then from there, I went on to my flax and uh, bowstring making challenge. And I didn't actually realize that you can gain XP in farming from collecting flax. I know a few months back, they implemented an update where different random things like picking flax or like making unfinished potions do give you some XP just so that they're not total wastes of time. But I didn't realize that picking flax gave you farming XP. So that's where the title of this, uh, this video came from. I'm just going to pick 13 mil flax for 99 farming um obviously not really but i thought it was kind of crazy i never would have expected to get farming xp and i actually got a farming level so that was pretty cool and then when i turned in the bowstring for a reward i got myself to i think level 12 crafting as well but unfortunately they took my bowstring away and i got another rune ore in that stupid goodie bag from the daily challenge rewards so i keep getting runeite ore which is completely useless and it's not something that i want or uh, could ever use really on this account but I guess it's good. I guess I'll just alk it for like 2k when I get the magic level and the nature runes to do so. But the next thing here is a, another daily challenge. I decided to do a divination challenge. It was to collect a hundred sparkling memories, I believe. So I just did that and turned them right in at the Wisp Colony to get myself some additional divination XP. And after getting a hundred uh, of these sparkling memories, I went back to the Birthorpe Quartermaster and turned in the challenge for the reward. And I got one divination level from that as well. So I'm now level 43 divination, which is awesome because that is almost the last requirement that I need for the medium Demonheim task set. I believe I need 47 divination to make the restoration portent or whatever it is that I need to make inside of Demonheim to get the medium task set done for uh, the, the Demonheim and Dungeoneering challenges. So I'm just a few levels away there. I'll probably get that in the next day or so. And um, yeah, moving on on that note, sort of, I decided to finish off the easy Demonheim task set the other day. The last thing I needed to do was complete a sinkhole. So I just got a bunch of MCFSers in the clan chat to go ahead and take part in a sinkhole with me. And yeah, obviously the task was simply to complete a sinkhole, so I wasn't really worried about coming in first place, which is different for me because generally I'm very competitive with sinkholes. I always try to get the most resources and the most exploratory totems to make sure that I get in first place. But um, yeah, this time I was just kind of walking through the motions, trying to get the sinkhole done so that I can complete the easy Demonheim tasks. And that finished off the easy Demonheim task set. So as you guys know, my main goal on this account from the start of the account basically has been to get the Bone Crusher reward and also try to get my Dungeoneering level as high as possible right off the bat so that I can possibly think about getting some chaos 
antibiotics just to have banked for when I do get 80 attack, as well as maybe getting some other things like the Charming Imp reward or other things like Herbicide, just general random rewards, maybe the Tome of Frost for a source of unlimited water runes, just a bunch of different things that I can do that will definitely help me out in the future. So Dungeoneering has been my main focus, and as a result, I decided to try to complete the easy Demonheim tasks, which I've done, and now I'm just a few divination levels away from being able to complete the medium tasks as well, which will unlock some, some awesome rewards. Basically, now I can get one free death per day without penalty XP. I can also choose the boss once per day that I would like to fight on a specific floor, so there's a lot of things that I'll be able to continue unlocking as I get my Dungeoneering level up. I'm going to wrap the video up there today, guys. Uh, I'm going to get back into playing now, probably for the rest of the night. So if you guys want to see another video today, just leave a like on the video. And this time, I promise, if you do get 25 likes on this video, I actually will get another video out tonight. If not, just leave a dislike on the video or just don't rate it at all. And I uh, will see you tomorrow with a new video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.